AT&T, one of the largest wireless carriers in the country, going down for some customers, unable to send or receive any calls or texts. As soon as I woke up this morning, it was gone. The outage lasting for hours. Didn't have any service. I need to make some phone calls. The company saying wireless service is now fully restored, but the FBI and Department of Homeland Security are investigating. The Bureau saying, should we learn of any malicious activity, we will respond accordingly. I think a lot of people right now are asking, how does something like this happen? Unfortunately, the technologies that we use are becoming increasingly complicated. This highlights the dependencies we have on very complex systems. Some emergency departments urging people not to call 911 unnecessarily. Massachusetts State Police saying they were flooded with calls that clogged their system as people tried to test their phones. Lexington 911, where's your emergency? This Kentucky 911 dispatch center had normal call volume, but says the outage is a good reminder to have alternate modes of communication. It's not a bad idea to have a landline, uh, a landline available. The outage impacting people from coast to coast. My messages weren't sending like I wasn't getting anything since my birthday, so I want to call my mom and stuff. In Los Angeles, Uber driver Time Johnson feeling the difference during the morning commute. What have you noticed? It's just been really, really slow. So I'm thinking it may be the outages because people can't order their right. Ubers. Security experts saying the situation reveals potential vulnerabilities. I think it does show, though, that we need to really be thoughtful about as we adopt these technologies, as we become dependent upon them, that there are fail-safes, that there are rollovers. A stark reminder as our reliance on technology only grows. Our thanks to Liz Kreutz for that.